Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. Look, if you're trying to get into the real estate game, I'm telling you now, you need to raise capital right away. The reason is, is because the banks are starting to tighten up and they're going to get very with giving funding, all right? Now, I'm going to tell you some of the best places that you can start your real estate investing even if you don't have a lot of money but also some of the best business credit cards even if you have an llc that you can actually get funding for all right now let's talk about places to actually really invest in real estate now, if, especially if you don't have a lot of money there's fundrise now fundrise is a platform that anybody with with a very small amount starting at ten dollars can start investing into real estate all right then the second one is diversify funds now with diversify funds you're going to need at least five hundred dollars to invest into real estate then your third one is crowd street now with crowd street uh they kind of get into like commercial real estate as well as residential so your investment will start at about twenty five thousand dollars now the next one is i my personal favorite is bid for assets bidforassets.com the reason is is because this is where the city the county the federal government they put all of their assets that owe back taxes and stuff so you're not only able to buy on homes commercial property but you're able to buy uh land tax liens so you're able to buy a um, base of real estate investing on bid for assets okay bidforassets.com now the next one is city feet now city feet uh they mainly focus on commercial real estate however sometimes you may find land on there as well as some residential real estate but city feet is definitely one of those ones you want to take a look at dealing with probate attorneys that's right probate attorneys unfortunately during the pandemic a lot of of us lost our close ones and stuff that may not have had uh, their paperwork together and stuff like that. So trying to deal with that, but with probate attorneys, able to reach out to them and say, hey, do you have any family members that would like to uh, take an all cash buy on some property or whatever? So definitely looking at a probate attorney. Uh, now, the other one is tax liens. Just like I was talking about bid for assets to get tax liens, uh, you can go through your city and county as well to invest into tax liens as well. Now, the next one is for sale by owner. Now with the for sale by owner, Here's a tip for you. You see these uh, people that post out these signs, we buy ugly houses and stuff like that. If you're trying to make money, all right, what you can do, this is just a little side hustle. You can do, you can, uh, you can do the bird dog and work for them. You can go to the county uh, records. You go to the county records, there's a list of properties that are uh, delinquent and stuff like that. And you're able to get that list and you can call them and say, hey, are you willing to take cash for this property? And then if they're willing to take cash for that property, you're able to sell that lead to these for sale by owner uh, type of company that's willing to pay cash for ugly houses or whatever. All right. So that's just a tidbit of information to help you get some money in your pocket. Now, with the for sale by owner, you may want to check out uh, Craigslist. You may want to check out a uh, Facebook marketplace, uh, other different places like that that's trying to get rid of uh properties and stuff i'll tell you another thing that's a big come up that a lot of people aren't paying like uh right now a lot of people because they can't carry the note or any anything anymore they're selling like their campers their rv campers and stuff like that now that's a good piece of real estate if you know if you have a piece of land that you're able to park it on and you're able to take it out and rent it out and stuff you can almost set it up like airbnb and for most people they don't think of it like that you know of course you have your uh smaller uh homes and stuff your tiny homes and stuff like that that you can buy cheap on like uh amazon or something like that so you're able to buy those type of properties and everything and like i said if you have the land and put it on on that piece of land and stuff and rent it out just like camping and stuff like that so uh just telling you about some of the places that you're able to do now let's talk about some of these credit cards 
Now, some of the uh, credit cards that I would tell you to look at is like Associated Bank. Now, with Associated Bank, they offer credit cards up to $50,000 with 20 months no interest. So that's free money because you're not paying any interest. So being able to, and I'll talk about how to liquidate this as well, but being able to apply for a business credit card, uh, even with a new LLC, you can get a business credit card with your LLC. So applying for a business credit card through uh, Associated Bank. Now with Associated Bank, I must tell you, do all of their credit cards through Elon Financial. Now with Elon Financial, you never know which credit bureau they're gonna pull because they may pull the Experian or Equifax. Sometimes they may pull the TransUnion, all right? But at the same time, going through Associated Bank, trying to get a credit card that offers you 20 months up to $50,000 of no interest, that's the type of funding you want. And of course, it's gonna be a FICO A, all right? And then you have ENT Credit Union. Now with ENT Credit Union, they offer business credit cards up to $50,000 FICO A Equifax for 20 months as well. This is what I'm trying to share with you guys. That way you can find out who's giving away the free money. All right, this is very important because you want to be able to liquidate these credit cards and be able to use them as investments and stuff like that and be able to take advantage of the markets. Like I said, there's a lot of people that's having a hard time with making their payments and stuff like that. So right now, if you have the capital, you're able to come in and say, hey, I'll give you X, Y, Z or whatever. We're able to take over the payments and let them pay you monthly and carry the note. You know, so there's certain things that you're able to do in order to get things going. Now, the next bank is U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank, they have a U.S. Bank Platinum card, a TransUnion 508 for most of, of the nation. Sometimes they may pull a, a experience, but most of the time it's a TransUnion 508. And that ex U.S. Bank Business Platinum card is 18 months of no interest. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You're looking for money that is giving you no interest, all right? Even if you're gonna have to do a balance transfer. Now, the next credit card is PayPal. Now, I always tell people, and I made a video, PayPal is gonna become a dominator in terms of the banking situation, especially with the uh, Silicon Valley bank collapse, okay? Because of Silicon Valley bank collapse, a lot of people are taking their money out, right? So those uh, small business owners and stuff, they're gonna start looking for, where do I get money from? Who will loan me money and stuff? So looking at people, places like PayPal to not only get like a business credit card, they pull a FICO 9, but to be able to get business lines of credit as well, okay? And these cards are all with no documentation, okay? These are stated income uh, credit cards and stuff like that. So that's the good part about this. Now your next one is GM business credit card. Now with the GM business credit card, uh, pulling TransUnion, Nine. Now this is a low hanging fruit. It's through Goldman Sachs, okay? But I love it because again, with FICO 9 credit scores, and I continue to tell you guys, with the FICO 9 credit cards, all right? Here's the thing about it. You can add rent payments. You can add utility payments. You can even add uh, authorized users, and it helps build up your FICO 9 credit score, okay? Now, I would just tell you, don't overload your credit file with uh, f uh, with uh, authorized users, but at the same time, two, maximum three, and choosing the right uh, authorized users. So if you have any questions about choosing the right authorized users, click the link in the description, schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation, and I'll explain to you which ones is better to use as authorized users, so that way you're not just investing in an authorized user and it doesn't work for you. All right, now, the next card is First National Bank of Omaha. Now, with First National Bank of Omaha, it's Experian 509, okay? So now you have another low-hanging fruit where you're able to go in and get the card without any uh, documentation, okay? Now, if you guys have any questions about 
business credit funding, personal credit funding, how to remove negative items off the personal credit. Click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.